we got a patient here who's got known flash pulmonary edema, and um, what I actually want to do is uh, demonstrate the uh, treatment of this condition with uh, both CPAP, BiPAP, and high dose nitroglycerin. I'm going to put a CPAP mask he's, on him. He's had it before. Yeah, he's had. Yeah. He says, um, that's what Ma'am, he, he tolerates the mask pretty well, if I remember right, because last time I talked, I treated him, he uh, seemed to tolerate it well. So is, are we tracking on the pulse ox up there? Yeah. So I think every time he comes in, though, is he's very hypertensive. Sometimes, I mean, the, the pressure support is more comfortable if I can do that. Right. So we're coming up on the sats. Now, has he gotten nitroglycerin yet? Yeah. It's going. Okay, so how'd you set up your drip? Uh, well, we gave him while we were waiting on it, we gave him one sublingual, but it only took a minute to get the drip in here, and we just started him at 400. Okay. We're going to keep an eye on the blood pressure. Okay. Okay, so 400, 400 mics. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Dylan, that's an awful lot of nitroglycerin. Yeah, and that's what these patients need. <laughs> All right. Are you breathing easier, sir? He gave the thumbs up. Did he? Okay. Still working hard, though. So what's his pressure doing? 174. Yeah. And what was his max pressure? Uh, 205 over 159. Okay. So he's up to 96% on his SATs now. Yeah. His SATs came up with the uh, bypass from on two, two or three minutes of that. X-rays here. Hey Chris. So what's happening now? We're getting ready to animate him. Okay. So he vomited. He vomited, so we're gonna animate him. With yeah. while on the face mask, so. So the problem is, you know, it's a pulmonary thing, it's fluid, but it's still gonna be, you know, it's still potentially mixed with gastric flora, mouth flora, that kind of thing. You don't want that. So yours, yours, significant other's girlfriend. Um, what happened tonight then? He just he just he woke up about an hour, which I'm the fourth block about. Three o'clock, I guess, about that, about two thirty. Okay. So that he was sweating. He had that cold kind of sweat. Right, right. And he got up and left. I thought he was in the bathroom. And he come back and he he he, he was heaving that rasping. Yeah, yeah. And here we came. Right yeah. Here. All right. So you and I have met before because yes, yes. we we treated him in another room yes. here probably a month or two ago or. Yeah. With for flash pulmonary edema, maybe it was longer. Maybe it was longer than that. Last time he was here, they just sent him on the that same day. Yeah, that's because he ate too much salt. Yeah, like yeah. The time before that it was like this. Actually, this is worse than okay. the time before that. Okay, yeah. But you would took care of it. Yeah. yeah, and he responded fairly rapidly that yeah. at that yeah, time because we did. That's why I was kind of shocked. Like last time, it was like boom. Right, right. And this this time it's but a little bit. But he still stayed in the hospital like a week. Right, right. So no matter how old you get, remember what your mother said about the clean underwear thing. <laughs> <laughs> It, it still probably was his favorite T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. How are you gonna are you gonna do the uh, C-Mac? Can you grab me the, the syringe, the syringe over there in the tray? Did it all syringe? Yes. Come eight in. Got it. And you can go ahead and uh, push this up as well. Get your ambu bag and everything ready. Put the syringe, the syringe, the syringe. 
Is this where you can see it? Yeah. Okay. Circulating. Yeah, some suction because you're going to need it. Yep. Y'all want me bagging there? Oh. Put that in there. Come on, DBL. Yeah, this DBL. What you need? Let me help you out. I can see Two. it. Two. There you go. Sorry. Okay. You can get it down far enough. You're right there. You're knocking. Yeah. Knocking on the door. Well, I take care of all kinds of It should be right there. Okay, go ahead and pull the satellite back for me. There you go. Is this the first time he's been innovated? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, it's the first time it's happened to him, too, though. Yeah. First time I've seen it. So that's why I stayed because I wanted to see how it was done. Yeah. Not that I'm going to be nervous or anything. I just. I'm certain if I do it again, it's going to be CPR. All right, good. That's good. Is someone listening? Can you listen? See, just make sure there's breath sounds here and here. Make sure you're listening to the accent. There's a lot of frothy secretions in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got plenty of condensation on the tube, so. You hear on both sides. Yeah, so much so that they change the. Up what, so what? What? What did you do? What was the deal on on your DL? I mean, you you lost your. Um, I lost my view when the tube kind of obstructed it, but it wasn't passing easily for yeah. me. So that's when I looked over here and I could see. So that you were trying to do it without the, okay with without that? looking at the screen. Right. That, oh, I understand now. Okay. Yeah, and then once I looked up there, I saw that I was hitting like the anterior part of the cord. That's then, why I wasn't then you adjusted it. I left back and it slid in easily there. Okay.